Oh god, I'm gonna hate this. I won't lie though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. Make it stop! <laughs> And welcome to Seduce Me Part 5, I want to say. Uh, they're about to sit down for some dinner. Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Oh my god, fine. Oh, uh, Eric was very charming, no. And his smile pulled at my heart, no. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designated him as the charmer of the demons, no. Yet there was a little distance in his eyes. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh, yeah, when I didn't believe that they were incubi. <laughs> Does she have a memory problem? Because this is like the fifth time she hasn't known what someone has talked about, is, is talking about, when it happened like two hours prior. It, it's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear. Oh, God, I'm going to hate this. I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. Make it stop! <laughs> I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. Uh, you know what? I don't want to hang out with this dude, so I'm going to smack him. No! That's going to sting. It's going to sting? It didn't sting when I hit you? Okay. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> no, I was expecting that. I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the amount of food they made. Okay. Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all of the dishes with a dramatic sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Good for you. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the Queen of the Nile! What's that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. Wait, okay, so Sam didn't help at all, and neither did Damien. Rude. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. Oh, he's all about the proper grammar. I'm starting to like him. <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Ugh. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably for siding with Eric, and he annoyed, annoyedly, an annoyedly, siffled back to Eric to confront him. Is that a word? I guess it is a word. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Ha ha ha. I know it's supposed to fake laugh, I just can't. I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? No, it's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal, all of you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Oh, get out of here, dude. Eric, knock it off. In agreement with Matthew, Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Seriously, you're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. It was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of the group. He had this big, tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? I'm sorry, but all four of them are the exact same body type. Like, why is it obvious he's physically stronger? They're all just, like, skinny, like, slim white dudes. <laughs> so, like, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just... Okay. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. A good treatment. <laughs> I deserve a good treatment. <laughs> There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. I guess I'm wondering if the person who wrote this just wasn't... Like, English isn't their first language? 
because and maybe I shouldn't be making fun of it in that case. It's just like she deserves to be treated well, not a good treatment. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're going to need some cold water for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh god they like scooted him into the camera or picture by the way i don't believe we caught your name even though you know each of us oh i'm mika it's a pleasure to finally know your name yeah that's a nice name they were all comfortable around me despite the awkward situation we were in it was as if it were natural for them to be around humans i guess that was just how incubi worked but I was still curious about one thing. Ex oh, the music! Excuse me. All at once they looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me made me feel kind of important. Like a queen or something. What is it, miss? Oh, yes. All five guys want you, girl. For your energy. I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah, like being told that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your house was perfectly understandable. Oh, um, how do we explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? Why are you so mad, bro? Now you're just being rude, Sam. I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? No, I mean, what specifically happened? Well... You see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of... misfits. <laughs> misfits? Just like, some weird dudes? So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So, you're all better now, right? Yup. All thanks to you. Me? You see, beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. Oh, but we don't just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. Lovely we can ladies. simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Okay. I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power, it was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. These incubi intrigued me, <laughs> but at the same time, I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. Is there anything else you wish to know? Well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do now, James? That is a very good question. We just got here, and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. Aw, oh, then you all have to stay here with me, of course! We can take them easily. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would cause chaos all over town. Okay, but like, where did they come from? Like a different dimension? Have they not been living on Earth? Like where, how, why? Or on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded like lab frogs for, <laughs> for research. <laughs> lab frogs. That was even worse. But most of all, they reminded me of back then. Oh, flashback. I was standing alone. The entire classroom was filled with laughter and chatter, but I stood in the midst of it, quiet and alone. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm just skipping this stuff because it's boring, in my personal opinion. Um, right, so she's also sad that she's alone. There's a difference between being alone and lonely. I just didn't realize it at that moment. And even after that moment, my father, my mother, there was no one to turn to. I was so lonely. That's when I decided to do it, right then. I was going to see my grandfather. I had never met, seen him before that. <laughs> I guess they were just... I, this happens all the time when I'm writing. They, they forgot to erase the word that they didn't want. What better time to see him? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She's walking. Still walking. A voice brought me back to reality. 
snap back to reality. Hun, is that you? It's me. And from that moment, things began to change. Life began moving its rusty joints, and I realized that things were moving along. Suddenly, I had become part of the crowd that moved like a blur past me. I was no longer someone who stood still and watched others pa hurry past me. Life had changed. I had changed. Because the very person who found me that day was my grandfather. Wait. What the? What was that story even about? <laughs> There's another flashback that doesn't make sense. What was she talking about? She was talking about the guys and how they would be poked and prodded like lab frogs. <laughs> Not lab rats, lab frogs. If she didn't have them stay here. And what, what was the connection? Right, so she wants to help them, but she's just, oh, I don't know. She's not sure. Okay, what would her mom and dad do? Oh, no, what can we do? Don't How can I decide? Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Grandfather's just speaking to me from beyond the grave. It was strange that I happened to remember what my grandfather said to me when I was little, but it did kind of make sense. They weren't in the exact same situation that I was in before. You mean running around looking for your grandfather and your grandfather found you? Is That's what the connection is supposed to be? But I did want to help them out. Clenching my, my hands into fists, I strengthened my resolve to speak up. Well, um, you could... What was that, lovely lady? Oh my god. That is, uh... Spit it out already. God, he's so mean. You could stay here with me, or stay with me here. You could stay with me here, if you'd like. As soon as I finished my sentence, the room began, became still. Not sure what went through their heads from my words. The silence in the air cut like a knife until I finally spoke up once more. It seemed like you all needed a place to stay, and well, I just moved into this giant house, so it seemed like it makes sense. Like it makes too much sense. Like it's the exact recipe for a romance novel. It was still quiet in the room. I decided to keep talking. If you'd like to stay here, though, there are two things I need all of you to follow. Yes? First of all, you can't use your powers or deliberately do something that might harm me or any guest that comes over. Save for enemies, but you get the drift. That sounds reasonable. Second, you have to help me with the errands around the house. This place is kind of big, so yeah. <laughs> was she just going to, like, clean the entire mansion all by herself? That is a generous offer, miss. Are you sure that would be okay? We don't wish to burden you any more than we already have. Of course it's okay. You're sex demons. It's all right, really. I mean, I just started living here myself, so I would appreciate some help around the house. A wonderful idea. We'll live here and train while helping you with the house. Servants for the lovely princess. Yeah, that actually does sound wonderful. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Shh, be quiet, Sam. I haven't slept in a bed for days. It just doesn't make sense that he would be mad. Like, I'm like, you can, you have a place to stay and be safe, and you have to help with the chores, and he's like, chores? <laughs> They all seemed to like the idea, except for Sam, and hey, I didn't really hate the idea either, even if they were Incubi. It'd be interesting to have five guys help me taking care of the house, given they would follow the rules I had just laid down. Grr, fine! But we're not staying here forever. Only until we can beat up that group of punks. I think that is a reasonable time limit for our stay. Okay. Yes! This is awesome! Also beautiful, if you need a bedfellow... Oh my god. Um... Eric, knock it off. I was happy that they agreed. Maybe it was just because I wasn't going to be lonely for a while. Maybe it's because they all needed help and my want to help people was fulfilled. I would never be sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's celebrate and dig in! Finally, I'm starving. Instantly, Matthew and Sam began to stuff themselves with the food on the table. I noticed James' eye twitching in irritation, so I stifled my incoming laugh. Really, you two? You're both acting like pigs. Oh, let them have a little freedom, James. It's not like we've eaten recently, either. I'm sure they've been starving. 
Still, that's no excuse for stuffing their faces like backyard swine. Backyard swine? <laughs> I almost couldn't hold it in. Uh, do I laugh or not laugh? Uh, uh, I'll hold in my laughter. Oh, that made someone like me, but I don't know who. I merely smiled before I took some food for myself. There is one piece of food that intrigued me and was barely touched by the boys. It looked like green pasta with shrimp all over it. Like pesto or? Huh? What's this? That miss is a shrimp pesto dish. Pastas are my specialty, so I'm positive you'll enjoy it. Oh, okay. I twirled some around my fork and tried it. I could feel my senses open as my taste buds practically melted in delight at the taste. It was creamy and savory. Almost impossible to describe. I mean, it's just pesto, which is delicious, but this is amazing! I'm glad you like it. At least someone here in the room has taste. Matthew and Sam glared at James before they continued to eat. I couldn't help but smile at the brotherly quarrel before eating the rest of the pasta on my plate. James seemed to really hold high standards for his brothers, though it wasn't my place to question why. Eventually, we all ate dinner together. It was strange eating with just guys, but they were enjoyable to be around. They made me feel like part of their family as we ate together. However, our peace was soon disturbed. Ooh! Oh, it's just her phone. Huh? It's my mom. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, honey, how are you? I'm sorry I didn't get to see you off. Is that the same voice actress as Naomi? I, I can't really tell. We're well, probably not. Hi, Mom. Everything's fine. I'm actually eating dinner right now. Oh, good, good. So there was food there. Well, what? your father wanted me to call and talk to you about having a house party tomorrow night to celebrate the new house and all. Wait, okay. First of all, you were just going to let me starve? Second of all, a house party? My grandpa died yesterday. A house party? Tomorrow night? So soon? Your father insists. You know how he is with events. With events. I know exactly what she meant. He didn't like long relaxing periods between important events. It was slightly messed up. I was expected to act like, or to act on the drop of a dime from moving immediately the day after a funeral to my grandfather's house to now organizing a party. What? I know. Well... Since I don't exactly have you two here to help me arrange it, I'm going to need some time to prepare things. Oh, that's fine. I mean, Suzu and Naomi can help. I have work, and you know how your father is. I know. I have to do it myself. He won't help. It's so weird. I'm sure it'll be amazing, honey. I have faith in you. Okay. Thanks, Mom. All right. I gotta go. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. Great. Now, how am I going to do this? Is something wrong? She has to organize a house party for her parents. What? Oh, okay. His voice is strange. She has to organize a house party for her parents. Huh? How did you... Oh, right. Mind reading. <laughs> but, yeah, i got to do it sooner. My parents will be really disappointed. I'll have to stay up and organize everything tonight. Hey, why don't we help you? That's what we're here for, right? Yeah. I don't see why not. I can name a few reasons why we shouldn't. Sam? Back off! Uh, we'll take care of everything, miss. Just leave everything to us. Okay, but you guys are demons. Like, do you know anything about parties? That was surprising. I didn't think the boys would offer help right off the bat. I couldn't help but smile. I was actually rather thankful now that I let them stay. I didn't have to do everything alone. So I kept thinking about it. I couldn't help but yawn. Yeah, it's roommates. They're cool. Feeling a little tired over there, princess? Don't, don't, just don't do it. Yeah, it's been a long day. At least tomorrow's the weekend so I can sleep in. Then it hit me. Wait, where are you all going to sleep? We found some guest rooms on the opposite end of the house from the master bedroom. I'm sure those will do just fine. <laughs> thought it was going to be like, there's <laughs> there's nowhere in this entire mansion. We all have to sleep with you. Oh, got it. All right, then. I'm heading to my room to study and sleep. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. I will. You too. All right. 
I'm going to end it here. She's going to bed. And apparently there's going to be a party in hopefully next part's episode. But sometimes this moves kind of slow. So we'll see. So thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.